Hello Dash Network, I'm Amanda B. Johnson. Thanks for watching this video that details the three reasons that I would like to receive your vote for a Dash Trust Protector this election. The first reason I've summarized as accessibility. What I mean is I would like the trust to publish a document, for lack of a better term, uh, that just summarizes what the trust will entertain, what the trust will not entertain, and then what their process is once an issue has been raised with them, right? So as a facetious example to illustrate the point, if I am a Dash user slash investor and I find that Ryan Taylor's beard and glasses are so handsome that they detract from the message of Dash, um, is this something that the trust would even hear me out on? If so, how would they hear me out on it? Should I call? Should I send an email? Should I send a Discord message? Um, and once I have contacted the trust, what, what materials or documents or supporting whatever should I send them, if any, right? These are the things that, that people ought to know. Um, and then at that point, what do, what do the trust protectors then do? Do all six of them review the issue? Uh, if there is not unanimous consensus that it is in fact an issue, is there a voting threshold at which it will be accelerated? Um, three of six, four of six, five of six, right? Um, and then if it is decided by whatever vote that this is indeed a valid issue, then what happens, right? So um, just all of these sorts of question marks, right? I, I think that the trust can answer this year. And, and of course, these things uh, evolve over time, right? There's always going to be something that pops up and you say, wow, I had no rule set for that, didn't see that coming. Um, but we can certainly start out with the basics and publish the basic process. This is how the trust works. Um, get it out there to the community so that everybody can know um, how to meaningfully engage with the trust um, given the appropriate circumstances. Okay. Second reason I would like your vote for trust protector is independence. And when I say independence, what I mean is there are two areas in particular in which the trust is currently dependent on Dash core group. That first area is its communications, um, in that the trust protectors are currently using a dash.org email address. And the second area is finances, in that the trust is currently holding its funds in escrow uh, in Dash Core Group's finances. And while these things have worked fine thus far, right, there, there haven't been any problems, um, in order for the trust to effectively serve as an oversight body of Dash Core Group, it ought not be dependent on Dash Core Group for such, um, what's the term, primary functions as its communications and its funds. Um, to, to quote Ryan Taylor, however, he said, um, governance is always the least important thing until it becomes the most important thing. And that really sums up my view on the trust getting independence of its communications and its funds, which is that everything's been fine relying on DCG for these things so far, but we, we want to be prepared for the future in, in, in a case that that may not be the case anymore, so that the trust can maintain its uh, role as an effective oversight body. And then the third reason that I would like your vote for, Trust Protector, is transparency. I have just found out last week that, um, that the Trust Protectors over the past year um, were sitting down and having quarterly oversight meetings with Dash Core Group. And um, maybe it shows my ignorance of like a corporate structure that I just didn't assume that that happened, but I had no idea. And what's more, I would have loved to receive a synopsis. I would have loved to see a synopsis of those meetings. Um, and so if elected a trust protector, that is something that I would ensure um, happens. 
which is to say that we, the Trust, would give a quarterly report. It doesn't have to be fancy video necessarily, um, but just a, just a report that primarily includes our findings of our quarterly oversight meeting with Dash Core Group. Um, I think that that would really give the network its money's worth. You, give you the network your money's worth in terms of the annual expense of having the trust. So um, those are my three reasons. I'm of course happy to answer any further questions you might have. Um, you can find me on Discord and my Discord handle is viewable on the Trust Candidates page which you'll find at beta.dashwatch.org forward slash elections. And that's, of course, where um, full masternode owners can cast a vote for as many protectors as you, um, as you want. And then, of course, if you're a masternode share owner, um, I hope that you are using a service, a, a pool, rather, a, a hosting provider that allows you to vote. Um, and if not, I invite you to make that request to your service provider to incorporate um, the ability for share owners to cast votes. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and see ya.